I'm sure that you know that water is good for you. And it is something that keeps you hydrated, really healthy, right? Because it's zero in calories, but it's really bland. It has no taste. It's not sweet, it's not spicy, it's not mild, it's not bitter. So why is this so essential in life? I know many people that do not like to drink water because it's so bland, right? And without this, it's something you need to help lose weight. I know myself, I did not like water in the past when I was young. It's not sweet, right? I had a sweet tooth as a kid. And when I got really dehydrated, certain body parts got really dry and it was hard to pee, okay? It was really hard to pee, I'll say that. Because of that, I drank lots of water. And you know, just looking at your pee, it's like yellow green. That's not a good sign. But other than that, anyways, like I said, water is good for you and it helps you lose weight. How to help you lose weight, you may ask? Well, there are five ways how I say it helps you lose weight. There are five ways on how water helps you lose weight, how it supplements with weight loss. So number one, I'd say is it suppresses your appetite. You know, those times where you feel really hungry, you just had to have that slice of cake or a piece of snack in your drawer because you just can't hold your hunger until the next meal in the next hour. Because those little things add up in the long term, that's how you gain weight. With water, if you drink more water, that will help suppress your appetite. And it's zero in calories, right? Not like those snacks where they have like 500 calories, those sugary snacks or like 300, 800 calories, they still stay in your body. So then it just keeps building up of water. Water helps suppress the appetite so then you don't keep eating. So then you're not overeating. Especially when you're stress eating, you're not aware of what you need to eat. But if you just drink water, then that will suppress your hunger and you won't keep eating and keep eating and mindless to eat, right? Because you're gonna feel bloated, you're gonna feel full. So just have water and that will help suppress that appetite. You won't keep eating this junk in your drawer, in the cupboard, you know what I mean, right? So that's one way. And number two, by drinking more water, it will help your body be more active because by drinking water, it helps your body temperature regulate. So then it will increase the calorie burn. It will increase your body to use up more calories. The water will be needed to keep your body at a certain temperature. Especially when you drink cold water, that will help burn more calories because it will need your body to heat up. So then use more energy to actually regulate body temperature, to keep it at room temperature. Because your body needs to be at a certain temperature. Otherwise, if it's too cold, too hot, that's gonna feel really uncomfortable. It's gonna be like your body's gonna be shutting off. So that's why your body will fight to work more to keep it at the right temperature. So that's why water is good for calorie burn. And number three, water is needed because it helps remove waste. You know, from all the food we eat, like all this junk food, it may be sitting in our stomach, our intestine, because it hasn't been digested properly yet, by water in having in our body with water, it's gonna really flush it out. It's gonna help move that waste quicker. You know, like when you have diarrhea, not like water will give you diarrhea, it will help flush out your waste in your body, but it'll help get rid of the extra weight, right? So it's not stuck inside. You know, just thinking about that, it's kind of gross. So yeah, drink water. You wanna get rid of that. Number four, how water helps you lose weight is because it gets your body, your muscles to move more because it needs water to actually activate better, to activate. You know, during a workout, when you're losing so much water weight, your muscles and all these other body parts need that fluid to actually keep going, to operate properly. So in function, you need proper fuel and water is part of fuel. It's needed to keep things going, you know? Something so dry, you need the extra thing to help it slippery slope, slippery move, and water is gonna help it move slowly. It's gonna need that water to help move properly. And with that, you can move more, right? And with that, you can lose more weight because you can move more. And your body won't be all, like, you know, like a gear all dried up. You need a bit of liquid to keep it going. Well, with water, that's the thing. That's the thing our body needs to keep going for our body muscles to function better. And then number five, I say 
why water is needed to help with weight loss and how it supplements weight loss is because with water, it help use those stored fats and stored carbohydrates better. Because of that, then while using those stored energy, not using energy that you need to eat. So then by using that, it's gonna turn that into energy and then it's gonna really burn off those calories. So with water, it's gonna really activate that energy storage, the fat that's stored from last night's meal, the carbohydrates that hasn't been used, it's gonna be using that. So then your burning fat rate, it's gonna get that calorie burn going, burn that excess energy, right? Because you wanna get rid of it. You don't want it being stored in your body. So that you work towards your goals and get into a better shape. In fact, water is really essential. You wanna get every meal or every hour if you can. One cup of water every meal, even if you want every hour because it's good for you. In fact, let's get drinking right now. Cup of water. No water, essential for you. Mm. Yeah, so those are five ways how water can help you lose weight. So I'm going to drop a link in the description below on an article that can give you more information. If you're a female, studies have shown that you should drink 2700 milliliters. So that's 11 cups of water a day. And if you're a male, you should drink 3700 milliliters a day if you want to be really healthy. Because that will really get your body to burn calories. And you know, you don't want to be the best version of you. You want the best body you can have. So my name is Kirk. Make sure you drink water. If you agree with that, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I give tips on personal development and fitness all the time. And I'll see you in the next video.